I'd like to talk about absenteeism in two kind of sub-definitions. It's, it's really, there's avoidable and unavoidable absenteeism. Unavoidable absenteeism is I just can't be there. I got into an accident, I'm not going to be there. As an organization, you cannot do anything about that. That's not what you need to look at as managing. So we differentiate the two. Avoidable absences, however, whichever form they take, they got a different meaning. They're absences that actually shouldn't have happened at all. Okay, example, I hate working the night shift. I think I need a sick note. Here it is, need to be off. Or absences that last longer than they should. Uh, again, show of hands confirms this, just so that way you don't think you're all alone, is how many people think in their organization that some absences last longer than they should and are unwarranted? Everybody. It happens everywhere. So that's my first definition, back to your question, Laurie, is there's avoidable and unavoidable. And if there's avoidable ones, that could be because I got hurt at work and it's a work injury. And now they need to be off for five days. It could have been avoided. Or the STD claim went on for nine weeks when it really was a two-week type of situation. So I made that distinction. Back to was, well, now that we know that, what, is, what should be our goal? Overarching, what is our goal as it relates to absence management? Because every executive is going to want one big thing. What's your objective? What's your goal for the year? Well, the goal is to reduce avoidable absences. We have no hope to reduce unavoidable absences. And this is a program designed to make sure people who are legitimately not well get the time off they need. More importantly, the ones that may not be so legitimate, yet properly managed as well. And, and I hate to always talk about abuse of an absence program by the employee base. Because most organizations think that it is the biggest problem. Abuse. We just get it. It's abuse. It's not. But when you do see abuse, what are you doing about it? Or does it just slide? Well, we did it for Joe, did it for you. Got it. Did it. The other goal is you want absences in whatever form they are handled in a consistent fashion. Why is consistency important in absence management? Anybody, hands up. Anybody here from Human Rights Council? How can we? For legal implications. Absolutely. Absolutely. 